When I head out to Jay's place, I never know what little surprises he has in store for me. And today proved to be no exception. As a matter of fact, this car might be the wildest thing yet on four wheels. This is an M47 patent tank engine. This came out of the patent tank Korean War vintage. Everybody should have one of those. Everybody should have one of these. It's air-cooled. Uh, that's the nice thing I like about it. It's 1,800 cubic inch. These are cam-driven fans. It directs the flow around. It, it, it sucks the air up, so it, it flows in and around all the cylinders. But look at the machine work on these. I mean, these cost the American government $110,000 a piece in 1953. So 12 cylinders, how many cubic inch? 1,800 cubic inch, Hemi head overhead cam. So if you're going to go to a Mopar meet and you want a Hemi, this, this is the engine. This is the one, and then, and then yeah. made it to the mother of all torque flights. But, right. but why is this one all in pieces? Well, this one seized, unfortunately. An oil line broke, and I lost 17 gallons of oil in about 13 seconds, and then it just, it just locked up, and it's, it, you, it's too much metal. <laughs> you're, out, you're out cruising in your tank? Or? No, not my tank. This actually goes in my hot rod. You have a, you have a tank-powered hot rod. Let's take a look. Let's do it. Jay, the mother of all hot rods. Yeah, it's a kind of a funny. It's a, it's a little on the big side. Yeah, a little, you know, you don't even realize the scale of this thing until you get up to it. It's huge. Yeah, it's a 190-inch wheelbase, which you figure Corvette is what 98. So that's uh, it's like it's like 20 feet long. Yes, yeah, easy, easy. My gosh. Well, okay. So take me through it. What possessed you to build this thing? Okay. Well, I, I, did, I didn't build it. A friend of mine, uh, the Blastoline brothers, a guy named Randy Grubb and Mike Leeds, they they designed the car. They built it as a show car. It wasn't really a, a street car, and uh, I, I got it from them. And then we kind of had to tear into it and do what we had to do to make it street legal, um, which, which and it, it is. It is legal. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, for, you know, getting brakes in the back, vacuum tanks for the brakes, power boosters, all that stuff. Reinforce those springs. Uh, had to reinforce the chassis because it had so much torque, it was literally twisting itself apart. Um, well, well, you know, let's take it from the top. What's okay. the front end? I mean, it's huge. And the front end is, uh, that's just GMC truck axle. I believe that's a 7000 series. And all we did was, it was nickel plated, just nickel plated it to give it that kind of classic cool. look. Yeah, yeah, I like the nickel better than chrome. It looks richer. It looks, it's a little, it's a little duller. It isn't quite that, you know, that, that shine. It goes nice with the with the, with the really aluminum does. body. Now that's the other thing, it's an all aluminum body and it looks like it was hand hammered. Yeah, yeah, Randy is, a, is an artist. He, he did this, it's just bang, 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 bang. Uh, yeah, that, he did a nice that's job. a lot of work. I mean, I like seeing the wells. You see yeah. the wells in here and all along the way and down the center. I mean, the little imperfections are sort of what gives it a patina. So it's here, you know, sporting the Chrysler badges. Right, is right, it right. pretty much the stock tank engine? Yeah, this is the stock tank engine. It's 990 horse with about 1,600 foot-pounds of torque. So this. There's not much you can do to these. You know? How about the, the carb setup? Is that, I mean, these are huge, too. Is Those that... are giant Stromberg carburetors. These, the fun thing about it is the jets are the size of Indian arrowheads, you know, so if you drop one, <laughs> it goes clang, clang. Oh, and you can pick it up. Cool. Now, how about, you know, structurally, like you say, this was a show car. It didn't even have rear brakes. Did yeah. you have to, what all beefing did you have to do to make it work? Well, we found out the first time we hit the gas that the chassis <laughs> kind of went into the pretzel-making mold. So we added those big struts on the side to just to kind of reinforce it. Kind of the, uh, the, Brooklyn, the yeah. Brooklyn Bridge effect Yeah, there. a little reinforcing underneath. It currently has a, uh, a Greyhound bus Allison transmission. And Allison makes a terrific new six-speed with a 50% overdrive. So I'm going to put that in here, too, and hopefully in hopes of getting another maybe half a mile per gallon. <laughs> <laughs> and then speaking of that, that must be the tank there, Shelby Cobra gas right, can. Right, gas can. That holds 35 gallons. That'll get you a good 80 miles before you have to fill that baby up again. Yes, sir, Bob. As long that's, as you're being responsible, that's right? That's the beauty, yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh, it runs on regular gas, so you don't have to put premium in. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> Pump gas, huh? Pump gas, yeah. Pump yeah, gas yeah, on yeah, the tank yeah. engine. And what's the rear end in it? The rear end is uh, Rockwell. That's, uh, well, look at it. You're not going to break that thing. That's a nice <laughs> thing. You can do burnouts all day long. You're not going to break that. Right? And then, will you, can you turn the tires? I guess even oh, 10,000 yeah, pounds. Oh, sure, you can. You 1,000 horsepower will Yeah, do you it. can spin the tires. No problem. No problem. So, this engine was originally pushing a 50,000 pound yeah, tank? Yeah, a 50,000 pound tank. So, this now is it's pushing apart. a 9,500 pound car. So, that's like putting a big block Chevy in a Mini Cooper. I love it. I love it. And it's street legal. Yes. And it runs. Depends what street you're on, but yes. <laughs> well, what do you say we take it out? Let's take it for a spin. All right. Welcome back to My Classic Car and more of Jay Leno's Tank Car. Are you ready to go for a ride? Oh, yeah. All right, just, uh, just up and put over, your huh? foot in there. Yeah, All right. get it. Here it goes. Oh, my gosh. 
Release the giant handbrake. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go tank mode here this time. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, you need more leg room in here, Jay. What you have here is you got magnetos. Then you have your booster. This gives a little extra boost to you. Come on, baby. motoring down the Golden State Freeway was quite a spectacle, but it almost seems like people are getting used to seeing Jay in his unusual vehicles. Jay was kind enough to let me take over the wheel of this 10,000 pound hot rod. You could feel the torque of this massive overhead cam Hemi tank engine when you press down the gas pedal. The next thing you noticed was the substantial amount of hot air that blows back into your face from the engine. And talk about filling up a lane, this baby was wide. I reluctantly gave the wheel back to Jay as we turned the tank car toward home base. It's fun. Tanks. Get it? Tanks. Arr, arr. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah stick to the cars. Uh. Great. And not, not too bad on the mustache. No, 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 no. 